New tonight. In the last week, we have received a lot of questions from local government employees regarding hazard pay and why departments in various cities are being treated differently. And we wanted to try to bring some answers to you, plus new details on hazard pay still to come. Here's 10 on your side's Brett Hall. We first told you last week about several local governments giving out hazard pay to employees that have been working throughout the pandemic and may have been at a higher risk for contracting COVID-19 because of their jobs. But 10 on your side, we've received a lot of emails from those who feel they've been left behind. With the question, can they do anything about it? People like Portsmouth Sheriff's deputies. We've received several emails from that department alone asking why, when Portsmouth City Manager proposed giving all full-time sworn public safety employees a $2,000 one-time payment in hazard pay, were the deputies not included? Norfolk and Virginia Beach deputies are receiving checks, but Councilman Nathan Clark says sheriff's pay is never set by the city council anyway, rather the General Assembly. A similar answer was given by a spokesperson from the city of Hampton on why their deputies aren't receiving hazard pay. According to the CARES Act, governments are responsible for making determinations as to what expenditures are necessary, meaning it is up to each individual council on how they spend the funds. Hazard pay doesn't have to be given at all. I am proposing to you $5 million in, in a hazardous duty supplement uh, for employees. But more is coming. Chesapeake City Manager, as well as Suffolk, has proposed giving out hazard pay of their own. But again, CARES Act funding, and I'm reading from the government's website here, can only be used to compensate public safety, public health, health care, human services, and similar employees, there's a little leeway there, that had a direct role in mitigating the COVID-19 emergency. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.